Hello, everyone, and welcome to Neebscast. Welcome. Got a question for you, Absro. Have you tried the Baldur's Gate? Man, I actually fired it up this morning because we, we talked about playing it. Yeah. Possibly on the dumpster. And I, I guess there's still a chance. I just, I've never played this type of game where it's, you're just a character walking around. You're kind of viewing it from the top. And mm -hmm. I hate that camera angle so much. Yeah, kicked off to the side a little bit. I yeah. know what angle you're talking like, about. When, you, when I was playing it with a controller, and again, I only played it for like an hour and a half tops. Hello, Anthony. Anthony, Anthony just walked oh, in. Hey. hey, what's going on? Hey. Yeah, right. We're talking about Baldur's Gate. Oh, bald. Oh, my God. So bald. Yeah. Can we make it a title? A good enough juicy conversation for a title? Why Baldur's Gate sucks. Yeah, Baldur's Gate yeah. game of the year. Yeah, right? Seem, <laughs> seems like people are really hating it. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I need to give it more of a chance, but like my immediate reaction is like, okay, I hate this... I you, hate this camera That's not your view. jam. No, it's not my usual jam. But when, you know, you see so many gamers, quote unquote, just praising this thing. Yeah. Like, okay, I want to dive a little deeper. Maybe I'll get used to it. Like Dragon's but, Age was that way. Like, you know. That, yeah, but that, I don't know. Dra Dragon's Age still had, it didn't have like the top down view like that. Yeah, it did. Did it? Yeah. Okay, in maybe Dragon's I'm, Edge Origins, like it was kind of top downy, similar, similar. I don't remember. Right, Dora, on yeah. consoles, no. On PC, yes. Oh, oh shit. Okay, I think I played it on consoles. Interesting. Why would that be different? That's crazy. I don't know. It's a. What? But I, I, I would be curious to try Baldur's Gate for just like okay, let's dedicate two hours to it one night, and we all create a character and we start an adventure together. Yeah. Because the opening cutscene, I was like, this is really Pretty cool. Badass. I love this world, and I'm I'm kind of in. But I just got to get used to the way things move. So, yeah, I just saw not long ago on the old Facebook some um, acquaintance I have, kind of a stick in the mud, but whatever. He was like, oh, I, I don't know, see what all the hype is. I played it for an hour, and I don't see what the hype is. I'm like, so that's me right now. I was like, I don't see the hype yet. I, the, yeah, but it's an it's, hour. You can play it for 130 hours plus or whatever. It's like one of those games. Right. So an hour ain't going to do shit. Yeah. Oh, and it's huge, too. That's the other thing. When I, when I, I bought it, and I went to install it, and I was like, wow, oh. this install's going really slow. I clicked it. It's like 130 megabytes. Or, I'm sorry, gig. It's 130 gigabytes. How many endings are in that game? Like 160. Wow. So that, that's why it'd be interesting to play it with you guys and just see, like, okay, if we all go on this adventure together, like, you know, we could even do our Duralius characters. Yeah. Like, you're the, you know, you're the warrior, I'm the wizard, you're the dwarf. Right. Uh, Neebs is the elf. Yeah. And like, okay, let's go on this adventure and just see what shit we get into. Sounds like there's three acts, apparently. Okay. Um, I don't remember the first one. Second one's was like this scary place, and the last one's kind of in the city, more than. Yeah. But um, what I've heard uh, a lot of, well, like, it doesn't really deny you of anything. Like, you know, you kind of got this, it allows all of your decisions to be kind of like, like Zelda in a big way. Not like I'm saying for the first time you were able to like kind of just think outside the box of what you were constricted to within a game yeah. in a lot of ways for Zelda anyway. And this one's in that realm. But what I'm more is impressive, like with all those endings and all the characters and all the stuff, um, I guess like the final act, not without any spoilers, but how all the actions that you've done, the countless separate actions kind of come back and the people are knowledgeable of it and mm. in many different ways like that's so much data that makes your experience unique at the you yeah. know what i mean that's no, what you're, that's, you've that's, heard yeah but yeah several times and I, I watched a couple reviews and stuff like that and it's yeah. just and that from a gameplay or just a game standpoint that's structurally impressive yes. that a game can have that many divergent paths yeah like but you want to be enjoying and still the game come play. back full circle at the end no matter what, what you've done yeah 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 yep that's like yeah. unique to your bullshit. I call it bullshit. <laughs> let's see. Let's prove it. We just let's play right now. Come on, man. Yeah. Show me because I don't fucking believe it. Let's play it. Yeah. But it is wild how much just attention it's receiving. I think it had something like 800,000 concurrent players on Steam at one point. Zium. Uh, which is uh, is not really typical for this type of game. Yeah. Because you usually don't see like, you know, your, your Call of Duty kitties aren't going to play this game but it seems like they are in it, clean, this it seems like they're clearly know. hungry for something yeah and it's not like there has been a call of duty that just dropped or anything that's just dropped like that really yeah like maybe lately. so so they're just kind of giving it a whirl perhaps i don't yeah. know it's, well, been it's four, about i mean i was like okay i'll give this a whirl yeah that's um, a 60 dollar whirl 14 is, years yeah. since the last one no 
I, I guess. I know they had a seven or eight year development cycle, so it's been in development for quite some time. And you don't need to know anything? No. So, um... Like previous story wise, because yeah. yeah. this is what this is a five, right, or something? A three, three. I want to try it too. I want to see. Yeah, yeah. I, it I, makes I, sense that we would try. It. Yeah, but uh, just from the little hour I played, it's like okay, it's like you and your little parties running around. It's like okay, I wish, I bet this would be way more fun if it were you guys or my friends instead of solo. Like doing this solo is like okay, this this kind of sucks. But like when you get into battle, it's like okay, everyone kind of like it's it's turn based. Yeah. So it's like, okay, the enemy attacks, and then this enemy attacks. And it's like, okay, now it's your turn. It's like, okay, I'm that going hole. to shoot my arrow. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, I'm going to swing my sword. It's RPG, like, okay, baby. I will cast my spell. Yeah. Oh, really? That yeah. That's how they work. That's yeah. How that like, everything kind of pauses, and, like, yeah, it's everyone takes a turn to either move or attack or do what you got to do. Really? I always yeah. used to enjoy that. Like, you know, I know Thick and I loved Fantasy Star back in the day. Yeah. Um, games like that, and we're super happy with those kind of games, but... I'm yeah. curious to see how this one plays out. But in, and also stuff's character based. Like if your character has a high level of like I think it's like maybe persuasion or something. Yeah. Like you might run into somebody and they say, you know, ah, you can't come through this you can't come through this door. It's like since your character is high in persuasion, it'll give you that dialogue option of like, no, hey, let me through the door. Right. And then you got to kind of roll a dice. It's like this little mini game plays. It's like you got a better chance. Okay, of... yeah, you you have to roll at least a five to get through this door. So it's D and D. Yeah, I mean it's D and D. And uh, Oregon Trail, the okay, latest yeah. one, does that too with the persuasion. Really? Listen, yeah. Listen, I'm down. Like, hey, you know, I can give you some dry humping. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's a little grind. Maybe a little grind. dry humping. Yeah. Uh, can I be a level twelve pervert? Just drew it's probably the, in there. Probably the one of the pan. character classes. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, you can have sex with a bear. Okay. What? <laughs> I, I I read uh, I read that somewhere. Okay, that's a that's. I mean, a total... I've done it, but whatever. <laughs> right? Yeah. We oh, about a stuffed bear. That was another thing. That is out there, guys. Verify this, please. I saw someone post it on the Neves Gaming fan page, uh, but it was spelled different, Draralius or something. But it seemed very obvious that it was. Duralius, like so whatever. you didn't see it. This no, I saw like... a picture. I took a screenshot. Did okay. I show you? Duralius is bear. I wonder bear. if I can find it. Yes, but teddy bear. I thought you actually saw it in the game too. Only for I didn't the play reason... the game. Okay, yeah, because for, for somebody might have just it looked like a genuine. Right? I mean, yeah, it could have been. That's why I'm because uh... it's too much of a uh, coincidence. Of course, if it is in the game, then, yeah, yeah. Duralius, but it wouldn't be spelled Duralius. I, I remember the spelling of it. Can I tell you the spelling, Abstro? If you want to verify. Uh, yeah, go for it. I don't All think, right. Okay. Uh, D R O R A L I A S. I a little apostrophe and then teddy bear. Now, if this would be impressive if the internet could find that particular thing, not so much. It's huh? such an obscure. It is. Did you find? I mean, I'm I'm finding things about teddy bears, but not oh a yeah specific I was about to say. teddy bear. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. What it, was the game that they said it was in? Baldur's Gate Three, the one okay. we're talking about. Baldur's. Did you search in specifically yeah. Baldur's Gate Three? I put in Duralius uh, Teddy Bear the way he's called it. Baldur's Gate. I thought 3. it was just a game, and that you got reminded because you said bear. I'm not seeing anything yeah, right I was off. You know, anyone seen it? Surface level. Uh, put in the comments. Curious, because that would be a great honor to know that a uh, teddy bear that I used to uh, have. Relations. Relations with as a pubescent child <laughs> uh, made it into a game somewhat. It does uh, seem like one of those games where there's a, a thousand things you can For sure. Up. Just something you could sell, maybe. Yeah. You know, a random yeah. It's like something. you walk you walk into a room and there's, yeah. you know, a, you know, a whole dinner table set up and you can take every item off that dinner table if you want to. Yeah. Wow. Just so yeah. many items. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So easy to squeak in something like that because you go, oh, we got a, yeah, it's, it's a teddy bear. Name the teddy bear. And someone went, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah, if one of the does. devs is a fan, heard that old stupid story and, yeah, they would put random items in. This would be funny. Who knows? Yeah, I'm not finding anything surface level. Surface level Google. Uh, Fair enough. Google Maybe search, it's but a yeah, very I mean, secret item. <laughs> Super secret. Very secret. I mean, with a game with 160 endings, you think it's going to have just so much stuff in it? So that much. people are going to be finding probably years after. Yeah, they might the games have out. 300 different teddy bears. <laughs> they might. <laughs> they, probably, <laughs> they probably do. They very much might. So. Yeah. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's interesting. I, I, I but I, again, I've never played a game like that. So I'm just I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Okay. Like, what is what is this? What is this? How the hell do I play this? So we've never played anything like it. So I don't have Not anything to compare it to. 
Because, yeah, no. I've yeah, not that, done that it. That top-down view, the the real-time. I mean, I've played real-time combat games like that, like a JRPG. But, yeah, nothing. You mean the turn-based? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, the turn-based combat. Yeah. I'm glad a game came out that like everyone seems to love. Yeah. Thank you to our most delicious sponsor, Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, with chef-prepared meals delivered straight to your door, and they're delicious. Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat up and enjoy. And I've eaten a ton of Factor. I order the food all the time. I love it. I brag about it. So the guys have told me that I won't shut up about it, and I don't care because it's good. It doesn't make sense. It comes, and it's they have the magic recipe with like almost all the chicken that I've ever gotten from them. It's like the perfect kind of juicy. I don't. I, it's just mind-boggling. And it saves me a lot of time cooking. Trips to the store. I'm eating healthier with Factor because I'm, I'm avoiding fast food. And they have options out the wazoo. I usually go with the chef's choice, but you got keto, vegan and veggie, calorie smart, and protein plus options on the menu each week. Prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. And each meal is prepared fresh and never frozen using the best ingredients and delivered straight to your door. You want to cut back on takeout? Get Factor instead. You'll save a ton of money and the meals are ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Now, come on. If you've ever considered trying a ready-to-eat meal kit, then head to factormeals.com slash neebs50 and use code neebs50 to get 50% off your box. That's code neebs50 at factormeals.com slash neebs50 to get 50% off your first box. Simon, you've been playing around with some artificial intelligence and trying to make animation, huh? You've been doing some dark magic. No. I, Voodoo magic. Do you make animation? No. You <laughs> Did you uh, misunderstand what I said? Maybe maybe I miss. You're redubbing. No, yeah. I was, yeah. Redubbing, I, yeah. yeah. Man, I, I've been listening to. Uh, Joe Rogan? Bad lip reading. Oh, the YouTube channel, they're great. I'm watching some of their stuff. They're just great. They do yeah. so many different things. And that, you know, it's one of those things where you just go like, oh, that's brilliantly simple. And they're also phenomenal at it. Yeah. And not realizing they did a lot of movies and. I'm watching like a high school musical, you know, right. like bad lip reading. And I'm just like, this is like great. Like, Man, you I know? need to catch I haven't watched them in a minute. It's been one of those channels. Like when they first hit, I watched all of them. Mm. And then now I've fallen off of it. Like I bet, I bet there's a bevy of and content if, there. If you start watching them, you know, the gets in your little algorithm and they start pumping them on your. Yeah, it's true. I need to feed my algorithm. Yeah. All old ass shit that I'm just like going. I didn't even know this was around. I just watched the football stuff. But anyway. I always thought it would be fun too to like voice over and do something with cutscenes. No, and then I've, done it, it, I've mm. done it twice. Yeah, redubs exactly. anyway. One was fart related and it was really dumb. But well, that was, was you were re you were revoicing trailers. It was the trailers. Yeah, yeah, I remember that back yeah, in the day. Voicing and then like all the sound design and music. In the trailers. Yeah, Damn, I remember you did Star, Star Wars. Star Wars one. Battlefront was That's the first right. one, and then yeah. um, it might have been a. Battlefield one. Right. It was a minute ago. Jump for that tree! My tree! Run the way you're already running! Running! I still can't hit a damn thing, sir! No! I'm a GG! No, you're not! I'm a chase you! No, you're not! I don't think you are! I'm gonna shoot you right out of this game! So anyway, I I started to think, oh well, you know, you the you can have some fun with ripping off the bad lip reading thing with the cutscenes, but I was just like, oh what and then it just popped in my head something about it'd be fun to switch up the speak. So you want to keep the story exactly the same, but, you know, change it to urban speak, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Like in okay. my head, I start. I don't know how I got to the point where I was just like, you know, it kind of has to be really opposite. I'm like, what what game? I started to look at some games and then all of a sudden Hogwarts Legacy popped up. And I was just like, I'm going to watch There's like eight hours of cutscenes, and I'm going to watch the beginning scene. All right. So then I then I took the dialogue from that beginning scene and I put it into chat GBT. I wish I was better prepared for this, but they're speaking very eloquently and very fancifully. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, they're British. They're of British. Their, yes, and, yes, and, and they're old British, and we go to Hogwarts. Oh, they're right. a magician school. Yes. Have you been to the wizarding school, Simon? I could probably open up chat GBT Are you and, a find, <laughs> and find some of the stuff if it's saved on there. I don't know. But basically, I just said, hey, listen, I'm going to type this in. Can you change this to whatever you would think urban speak is? You know, urban slang is what I said. All right. And then it, it took that very fancy language, and then it was just like, you know, did it urban. 
And I'm like, this would be fucking really funny. I, I want to see the result of this. I'm, if we if I we voiced intrigued. it over. But you don't want to write it. I wanted to use the AI. The AI came up with came up with stuff that was really good. I want to use AI as the launching pad to what gets written so, because there were like lines in there that you, I'm like, I'm keeping that line. That gonna, line's a great have end. Picketers outside your house, man. So. Man, but when I'm using it for Hell myself, no. well, us. Should I grab an example? <laughs> Of what I saw, should I see I'm if curi- I can try I'm, to find I'm curious it? what I mean. I'm I, I'm just curious what Chat GPT changed Hogwarts right. dialogue right. to urban speak. Okay. So speak amongst yourselves. I already said Neebs isn't here. Did I? Oh yeah, yeah. That? Neebs, Neebs yeah. is not here. He last might he might come last in in the middle of this. Okay, but yes. we'll see. I like. Um, and this go is the ahead. Last. Expose Tim Tam in the refrigerator. I'm doing everyone a favor. Go for it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. It the reminds me of uh, this past Thursday, which we'll get into more, but um. Fix one of Thick's daughters was here at the live stream, and uh, and your daughter, mm-hmm. Abstro, yep. and one of them was just eating a Tim Tam on the mic, with no <laughs> awareness of that they were on the mic. Even the right. kids don't understand; they're just like hanging out. No, uh, no idea that everyone can hear their slobbery mouths. As they're chewing on a Tim Tam. That live stream was amazing, though, by the way. Our community raised over $61,000. Yeah, you might as well say 62. It was um, yeah. absolute insanity. I, mean, I remember last year when we, um, what was it, 52 last year? I forgot. Something like it's that. It's a shame I forgot, but I forgot. And we were at the end mad. We were pretending to be mad about, like, we can't top this next year. What are you guys doing? Kind of a shit, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. Well... Boy, were we surprised. Well, we done it. We done did we, it. We keep doing it. No, it's amazing. It's it is. Freaking just generous, amazing community. And next year, we're going to do even more. Yeah. Well, I mean, why not? We yeah, go. it is a matter of I mean, why not. I mean, if we keep going, we're going to hit 100K one year. Yeah. that's. Uh, I think that's a lofty goal, but we should oh, go for it. Oh, my God. We should have something in place. I don't know what a fireworks show outside. I'm not <laughs> sure. We got to have something ready. I like this plan. Hey, oh, Simon. Here comes Simon with his big ass laptop. Mm. Yeah, but I can't, I can't navigate laptop. it. In chat, GPT, I've been able to access. I ran across, oh, look, it saves certain things. Okay. But I can't access it right now. I'm hmm. going, it says past 30 days. Like, So you can pay for it, right? Like you can do it for free, and I think you can Maybe. pay. I haven't messed with chat GPT right, at nor all. Have I. I just keep hearing it about it in the news, but yeah. I've not played with it one bit. Simon, can you pay for it? I don't know. I just signed up for free, and I did find it. I got you. Um, so what I, what I typed in, I, I said, can you translate the message? Like I'm eating dinner in an hour, you know, can we meet up later this evening to talk about our finances into urban slang talk? That was my first, like, <laughs> okay. uh, just experiment, to just to test. Yeah. Can yeah. this do, you know, what, what, is, and what is it going to think urban slang talk? Is? Right. Sure. Right. You know, I didn't know. And the results were, <laughs> um, yo, in about an hour, I'll be grubbing on dinner. You down to link up later tonight and chat about our money situation? Hit me up. You know? So I'm just like, okay, this Be is good. Grubbing work. on dinner. Grubbing yeah, on dinner. Grubbing on dinner. And yo is a, uh, you can't go wrong with yo in the beginning. You really can't. That is quality urban slang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so so then I went to, all right, so now I'm going to specifically. Yeah, we couldn't write that. <laughs> right. Never, never in a million years. Never in a million years. <laughs> but, but. It, to me, it's also funny to have this thing come up with some of the speak. It's yeah, just, it because is, it, it is, is nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's fun. I mean, and what did it do? Do you have an example of a line from Hogwarts? I do. Okay. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we've worked on. And then it went with, uh, man, it's a shame we couldn't clock in some more hours for spell casting. <laughs> I'm guessing you've been putting in the work on the spells We've been grinding on, right? Oh. That wasn't very much. That wasn't a good one. <laughs> Yo. That wasn't a good one. Yo. Word. One of the ones I'll try to get to. <laughs> Give us a good one. This would, I would, I would use this line. It is indeed. None of the other faculty have ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. I know it's a pretty generic line, but I just I wanted to hear you do it with an accent, with. but that's all right. Okay. You want to hear me do an accent? Yes. No doubt. It's for real. None of the other staff at Hogwarts have ever wrapped their heads around someone getting in so late. You're breaking boundaries, my friend. All right. Yeah. Now I can't wait. Yeah. Okay. For the translation, right? That was Yo. It. That was the translation? That was the translation. Wait, Shit. what? Yeah. I thought, 
Oh, because you read it in the British accent. I, 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 I know that I threw you off. It. Yeah, I think that they should also. Well, I'm bouncing you, ideas. I would think that this is funnier with a British accent. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you wouldn't want to do it in in any other speak. Well, you want to kind of mimic the tone of the footage, right? Maybe. Yes. So, anyway, but just yeah. written differently. I mean, you can yeah. talk. You know, you can do it like ICP does. You know how they talk. Yo. Yeah. I'm a clown. And, I don't know how ICP talks. Ah, yo. Okay, how about I'm this break one? break stuff with a bat. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional speaker, he's also a remarkable, intuitive, and a gifted wizard. Ooh. Okay. And then this is this is what it came up with. I'm not going to do any speak. Professor Fig ain't just some top-notch talker. He's also got the sixth sense locked down and is a wizard with some serious flair. That's Dude's not- the whole magical package. <laughs> <laughs> that was one Dude, of the, the ones that I like. Package. We could we could write like it better. He, they, his brain's fat. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I would. A dude's the whole magical package. I would think that would be a good one to keep. But you know it's what? Maybe bad. I'm just bad. impressed by yeah, AI. I get it. I get it. I Whatever get it. it is. Yeah. All right, oh, so. it, it is impressive. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The technology's impressive. The results a, yet. I. Am. Do you have a good one though? No. No. But <laughs> I, so, yeah. but but I guess the basic idea is. Yeah. I mean, I was just using this as a tool. Yeah. Like when we're in Ark or Seven Days to Die, we need the right tools to harvest certain materials, right? Yeah. Sure. And when you're on the interwebs, surfing or gaming, we also need the right tools, right? I see where you're going with this. And that's where NordVPN comes in, baby. (laughs) NordVPN! (laughs) That's right. We all know you can use NordVPN on up to six devices. And we all know that they're the fastest VPN out there. The tests prove it. But for my gaming friends, MeshNet, powered by Nordlinks, safely brings all your friends right to your room, no matter where they are in the world. And MeshNet lets you directly connect to other devices to form your own secure virtual network for better internet connection speed and less lag, while giving you the same security as connecting to a VPN server. So go to nordvpn.com slash Neebs and see more about why you need them. Like I need Nord cybersecurity tool threat protection. It helps me on a daily basis by scanning any file I download for known malware in return, making me much more secure because any file can have viruses, trojans, worms, and key loggers. And in case you didn't know, because I didn't, a keylogger is a computer program that records every keystroke made by a computer user, especially in order to get your passwords and other confidential information, which is crazy. So go to nordvpn.com slash Neebs for a two-year plan plus four extra months. Try it risk-free now with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's four extra months on a two-year plan at nordvpn.com slash Neebs. The idea wasn't, hey, we're going to have AI create all this stuff. What if? I just kind of did. I'm like, the idea is still we could write it. How quick is it? It happens super quick, right? Like if you were to do something right now. Yeah, when you feed it in there. Let's do something now. Okay. Um, what would be the line? I mean, can you do voice to te- uh, voice to it in that, or do you have to type no, it in? I have to type it in. Uh, yeah, I'm so, stupid. so I was thinking, like, well, whatever we type in, whatever line we're coming, we either change it to redneck or idiot, and see what it does with that. Mm. So see yeah, it, how would a redneck say this? It'd be fun to just see its version, like in comparison to how you put the urban. But okay. it's a matter of like what line. Um, see, well, I could just, shouldn't I be able to just copy and paste one of their original sure. lines? Yeah, let's see what, perfect. Speaking of my daughter, we brought her up earlier. Poor thing had her tonsils taken out Did yesterday. You? Yesterday? Yeah. So yesterday. that is a rarity these days? Mm, if it is, I don't know. I don't know the statistics. It was the standard when I was... A kid. Okay. And I had mine taken out, I don't know, 11, 12, something like that. I remember okay. getting a lot of toys when I was done. Yeah, apparently the doctor, when we took hers out, were like, yep, this was the right call. Gotcha. They're not healthy tonsils. Because then uh, the generation or whatever after, I remember it was not the norm, like probably okay. for you. I'd be, right? curious to, I'd be curious to see the statistics. I mean, yeah, I still have my tonsils. But did you remember anyone from school like getting them? Hmm. <laughs> Because everyone I'm around sure me did. I'm sure it happened, but yeah. I don't remember it specifically. I got you. You know, a kid would be missing. Like, why is Tommy not here today? Like, mm-hmm. This guy's tonsils taken out. Like, okay, you guys want to play Nintendo? That was, that was all I remember. And our tonsils, they are relatively pointless, right? 
I we? hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what gets you in heaven. Oh, damn it's it. It's like your heaven key. <laughs> <laughs> you walk up to the pearly gates. There's old Saint Nick or whoever the fuck it is. Tonsils. <laughs> Open up, please. Oh, no, straight to the devil with you. Oh, what a twist. Oof. Damn oh, it. if only I hadn't had my tonsils taken out. At least I got my toys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have a, a translation in redneck of... <laughs> Oh, boy. Of which line? Of Professor Fig is not only an exceptional speaker, he's also a remarkable, intuitive, and a gifted wizard. Okay. Well, let me tell you, Professor Fig ain't just good with words. <laughs> That's pretty quality, yeah. He ain't just good with words. He's He's got this real knack for figuring things out. And, has a, <laughs> and, he, and he's a darn skilled wizard, too. Now can we just do idiot? Just see what it does? I Then I'm done. It won't <laughs> let me... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Well, let me copy and paste this shit. Just, uh, really just say, slow. Just type back to it. Now give the answer as an idiot. There you go. This is fun. We can do this for an hour. <laughs> yeah, just goof around in AI. <laughs> I saw uh, Anthony. Like, what? Go ahead. Uh, like you know, that <laughs> Professor Fig dude ain't just like talking good. He's also uh real good at like knowing stuff, and he's like. Old, old magic whiz or something. Duh. <laughs> My favorite. I'm really happy with the idiot. <laughs> so, so now this this changed to a much better idea. I would be I'd be cool with uh, yeah getting the basics, but uh, you change it to idiot. It's Hogwarts. <laughs> Hogwarts it, idiot is more fun. It uh, seems to be. You know, yeah. Well, there you go. So that's that. Yeah. It's a good year for gaming. Holy God. We've had a lot. I mean, again, Tears of the Kingdom, that, Starfield's coming out. Oh, yeah. Starfield. That's going to be a beast, too. Why is Starfield? Uh, um, it's a big old we did RPG. Talk about that. Yeah, Starfield. Okay. Yeah, that's Bethesda. That's the people that made Skyrim and uh, Fallout. Mm. It's their next really, really big RPG. And that's more my speed of like, yeah, third person, walk around. Like, I, I'm, I'm excited about that game. I hope it's good. Okay. Uh, we'll see. Sounding pretty dope so far. Well, yeah, but that's just got a rip. Their games on launch usually are, uh, there's something. Uh, Fallout but. 76. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, man, that was such a hodgepodge. It really was like, okay, they, they wanted to do a multiplayer game, but also make it single play. Yeah, it was. And it, it didn't seem ready by any means. No, God, no. I mean, the launch was terrible. And even like, I, I played it after launch and I thought it was terrible. Just structurally, That's it the, was terrible. One thing a lot of people are saying about this as well is for how big, how entailed it is, how deep that it, it seems like it was actually a ready game. Yeah. Well, again, seven oh, year yeah. dev cycle. Yeah. And small team probably communicate very well, know what they want to do. Small team? I mean, big team. Small, small compared to something like an EA or Ubisoft. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, if I'm going to buy it, <laughs> I'm curious. I want to play soon -ish. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we should try it on the dumpster. Just why not? Let's give it a shot. Agreed. I would like that. And our characters alone, I think I already know what uh, class I'm going to be. Oh. I don't I have, oh, dear I, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, dear, dear. Dwarf, right? The idiot. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'll be the idiot. <laughs> no intelligence points for you. The adorable idiot. Just charm. I was the adorable idiot like 20 years ago. I was adorable. Yeah? Not anymore. No, I'm just you got better. those big adorable eyes, though. Yeah, you got puppy dog eyes, man. They get you, they get you places, don't they? They used to. <laughs> All right, what are we going to talk about? Yeah, what do we got next here? Yeah, I don't know, man. So you already did when I was stepped away. You already talked about how amazing well, we everyone just, was. We're talking about the Tim Tam eating, and then gave mad praise to all who um who helped out with the stand up to cancer. Yeah, yeah. we had uh, oh, man, we had one. Matter of fact, if if anybody can help us, oh uh, yeah, find this person. We had one donor that donated over four thousand dollars. Insanity. Yeah, we mm -hmm. would like to send a care package. Yeah, but we don't know how to get this person's information. We've tried to reach out on Discord. Um, uh, Estekia, what's the name again? Uber oh, trigger happy. Uber trigger happy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like like you said, they might not want to be. be. So if they, now if they don't want to be found, that's fine too. But we would like to send a care package, and we just want to know yay or nay. Yeah. 
That would be cool. Yeah, they haven't been so. on Discord in a few years. We've been stalking them. Uh, right. Looks so, like they haven't been in their home. Uber trigger happy. If you just happen to listen to this, uh, reach out to us. Then or and if you don't know, if you don't want to, then don't. Then don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, but, amazing, amazing night. We got such a fucking awesome community. Love you guys. The results were insane. And then everyone who mm-hmm. um who made all the stuff in Arc, you yeah. lot, yeah, they had a, just a the fact that they went in and set up this. I wonder how many hours went into that. Do you any hours. idea? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I know so that. So many hours, yeah. But did you exactly. hear what I said, though? What I, said many. <laughs> I wondered how many, and then she just repeated hours. Hours. A whole bunch. <laughs> that was some fun games. I remember the wonder big, how cold big it was. race. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that'd be a great uh, weatherman. <laughs> Guys, it's cold out today. How cold? Cold. 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 Yeah, thank you. Sweet. It was like coastal weather. Um, uh, because yeah. we went over a little over three hours, like three and a half or so. And uh, it was nice that we were at our own pace. Yeah. Um, jumping around to all these little challenges and races and shit that they had set up. And, and there was just, whenever we moved on to the next one, there was something waiting. So mm. I'm sure we missed tons. Oh, for sure. As well, but uh, I hope you guys had fun building it at least. Yeah, and I, I love. Yeah, they they built the the numbers too. Like any time we would pass a know, certain like, number. Oh yeah, we're past ten thousand dollars. They had this thing we could blow up. That was brilliant. Yeah, I wish things looked better in Arc when they blew up. Oh Arc yeah, has a weird like you blow something up and it just kind of stands still for a second and then like blips out of existence. Yeah. here's yeah. what we do then. If uh, if next year, um, if there's something in Arc or whatever, we'll just cut away. To it built in scrap mechanic. Ooh, yeah, blow up. That's there. a good call because yeah, and, cut away and, to the and, numbers. Yeah, and, somewhere where it's built, where it works. Where at That's least all. you're going to be able to appreciate the destruction. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. There you go. Good old scrap. Old yeah. scrap. Yeah, what's? It's just a great Anything game. new in scrap? Nothing new in scrap. Probably. At all? Probably. Yeah, probably. I haven't, I haven't looked new. in a minute. There's the whole underworld. An underworld yeah like is that a thing the mining now? is like this what? whole underground element to Jeez. it now and these different kind of bots down there and the drills you make to go down and all that and games today are weird yeah <laughs> it's like yeah. you play one and then you go away for three or four years you come back to it everything's different yeah yeah mm. it's funny how some of them are like that speaking of do you uh, any of you guys like darts to play th- like yeah. a bar you, you play like some darts, darts? Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 darts i just uh i got like um because I just moved, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Just dealing with all that crap is, is really something. But we got like this little bar area. Well, not a bar. It's like, you know, set up with the... But above that, I was like, dartboard maybe, huh? Mm-hmm. So I just went and got an electronic one yesterday. Yeah, we used to play electronic darts back yeah. in the day. I yeah. forgot about just Because I was now. thinking, we have animals, and if someone misses the board, we don't need any pointy tips yeah, flying no, all over the place and stuff. And yeah, you obviously don't want to put bottles. holes in your wall. Yeah. And it's nice for uh, the... The game to keep score, you know. So mm. we were playing that last night, and and um, my girl didn't really know; she hadn't played much and all, you know. Or <laughs> today, top of the day, and I get up, she's out at her desk, and how you doing? And she's like, I just can't stop thinking about darts. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, addicted. sweet, that works good. She did good though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now darts is always a good, just like a, a great bar game. Yeah. Hanging mm-hmm. out with your friends, drinking, yeah, throw some darts. It's nice if you've got the place in your in your home and if you dig the darts to have that option. And it was like what, a hundred and twenty dollar like board and got all the oh, shit fun. you need. I yeah. bet you that I bet you they're so different than they were. Well, you know what? Probably not, not. too much. No, twenty not too years. Much. Like that's when we fucking had one, like almost like, twenty yeah, years ago. This one the the difference would be oh, and it said it's got um, and I'm sure there's much better digital ones, obviously, like you, much better ones at bars and stuff. But like, I wasn't gonna go nuts with it. Um, and it's with the case, like like plastic, but it looks like wood grain. You know, opens up and yeah. reveals that. You know, um, the difference would be, I like the old cheap ones. You'd see like the for cricket, if you were like getting your 19s or something, you're just gonna see that little red dot pop up for each 19 hit. You know? Yeah. This has the the nice. Nice little lines X. and the Ooh. X, yeah, the whole All right. fancy, wow. fancy, fancy but electronic the, um, dartboard. The voice, <laughs> yeah, oh, leave the voice, a voice. Oh no, on it. You know what I mean? You can disable that, right? <laughs> Double twenty. <And> the whole <laughs> yep, fine. No, fine. no, turn that shit <laughs> off. Clean. Oh, triple clean. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. It's just weird that they even have a voice. I forgot that they fucking have. A voice. You can't see with your eyeballs what you just hit. Yeah. <laughs> Cat. 
That'd yeah. be smart. Yeah. Sees what you accidentally hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> because we're talking games, that game was in my head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, darts yeah. is always a good time. Well, we just did another It Takes Two session. Yeah, uh, that it, was rough. It was rough. <laughs> no, I mean, not like we were fine with each other because the end yeah. of the last session, we, we went, we were grumpy at the end. Probably. A little bit grumpy, and I have not listened to it or watched it because of that, and I don't want to relive it. This one, uh, we did just fine. We it did. It was that one level. My God, we played for about three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move Maybe on. two and a half. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's it's one of those things. Yeah. It, it is really it is a really fun game, but it does, yeah, we've talked about it so much about like well, the here, I'm gonna say being this. annoying, and it is. Let me just say annoying. this. You are not a platform gamer. You're not a controller gamer. And this game is both, entirely both of those, and you've done so well. I appreciate that. There mm. are times where I feel like, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I can control here. And then immediately you go, oh, no, this, <laughs> is, this Toward is not the, working. Uh, probably the last 45 minutes of, of this one, no spoilers or whatever. <laughs> Simon just didn't know where his character was at all. Oh, God. So I was oh, kind of no. just beating everything. Yeah. <laughs> like, I could do stuff. I couldn't see. There was too much action going on was on a lot the of screen, action. and you had to okay. continually move forward, and there was all this shit kind of exploding. <laughs> My character's, like, flaming, so it's got, like, this firepower, and there's shit exploding. It's pretty fun. We did it, though. We did it. Damn it. We did it. Mm -hmm. some, games go, yeah, some games go a little too hard with, like, particle effects, things like that. Especially, well, not especially, but I, I remember when... Was it PlayStation 4? It was kind of the first ones to really show off like that. Um, damn, what was that? Thick loved them too. The un, un, ah, you're like a super, you've got superpowers. You're like a normal dude, but you got like superpowers. Hmm. They were really showing off the particle effects in that. You know what I'm talking about? Un Anthony's thinking right now. They've made hmm. about four of them, but infamous. Oh, infamous, yeah. So it yeah. was the one that launched or that came out. Kind of with the launch. Yeah, you were of like an electric four. power guy. Yeah. 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 Those particle effects were um Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It was the first the beginning of them showing the showing them off. And, <laughs> Look what we can do. Look at how colorful oh. is the neon. Do you have a neon power? We added that because of colors. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Infamous. That was a cool game. Or those yeah. were cool games. I actually kind of watched some playthrough stuff of uh Shit. I remember some the, of those. I remember the first one and maybe the second one i mean i thought i think i fell off after that right yeah like i think we didn't we play it like in the very beginning of the channel ah that's possible like one is absolutely yeah, possible. i think we did yeah we were more yeah we did we did more console stuff back then yeah we hadn't done console stuff in a minute nope <laughs> just kind of abandoned consoles didn't we if that you could what would you do console yeah jeez i don't know Con i think like well it to me the controllers are like really good for like something like Mortal Kombat, uh, Street Fighter. If you dig that stuff, you right. know you want to yeah. obviously you want a controller for that. Not that you can't use your controller with it on Steam or something, but mm. other than that, it's like oh, or Rocket League, something that moves like that. But the games that we play, like going through the menus in seven days, I want nothing to do with console seven days. I'm oh, happy people no. can have it. Yeah, right. and I'm I, I'm I'd imagine they're making a better system for when they're doing this whole console thing again. Maybe I, but, yeah, but, I, I I think. You know, I could be completely wrong on this, but I think the Seven Days developer, they're very PC focused. Yeah, but they're doing a console thing coming yeah, out. Oh, yeah. No, I know they're doing the console yeah. version. Uh, I mean, people, um, I think it costs them money to update on console. That's right. why they never do it. Right. So, but yeah, people have been screaming, we want an update on console. And I think they're just focused on PC to get PC working right. And then eventually they'll update console. Yeah. But yeah, I can't imagine dealing with that UI. Going oh, through with your menus and like trying to get something out of the upper menu, not one of yeah. your hotkeys. Like, well, you know, that even seems really like a nightmare to me. But I have talked to people who do it on console and they're fine with it. They so just got used to it. Like it's anything. like anything. You just get used to it, and you're like, okay, once once you once a game kind of talks to you, you can fly through a menu system. Because mm -hmm. I thought about waiting to, um, I think it's September seventh or something like that. That Baldur's Gate mm -hmm. launches on PS five. Okay, and I thought about waiting. Just to have like something out in my living room, yeah. You know, play on the big TV every now and then, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm concerned about menus and yeah. No, just my brief playthrough this morning. Um, yeah, when you hit I for your inventory, there's shit everywhere, and you go, oh boy, Ooh. yeah. And then not only yourself, but all the characters. That's again, like I think it would be more fun if 
you guys were playing with me, and I, it's like, okay, yeah. Like right now, it's like you got to manage three characters. It's like I don't want to manage three characters. I want to manage one. I think the answer. Oh, you have to manage the three because you oh. can't play by yourself. You are you're a you team. You can't team. You can play by yourself, but if you play by yourself, you still have characters following along with you're you. Acquiring. Granted, that now yeah. I, I will say the game will allow you to to just say like I don't want you guys with me. That's what so I was thinking. it gives I'm you like, that option. You okay, want them, though. But you have to manage, but he it does have to manage them. That's one less thing to have fun with, yeah. which I understand. I didn't know that that was part of your struggles or your like slight frustration. Yeah, it's it. a fun thing. They they move with you. You don't yeah. have to control them all to move. They're coming along right. with you. You and just then have to control them in battle. It just stopped. Like when it's their turn to decide what they do, you have to click on that one. And okay. You, so you kind of need Yeah, you help. want them in a fight. You know, yeah. You want you, you want your healer there. You know what I mean? I think the answer for the, the menu is like, because uh, PS5, I love um, going through some, not even in games, but when you can like double click the toggles down and it becomes like a Wiimote and now you're just pointing at your screen. Yeah. If that was in those games, that now we're talking. That's a game changer. If you need to like use your like. Honest to God, you would think Wireless so. pointer. That would be great. Yeah, because I've been playing a little VR recently and yeah i mean that's just such a nice thing even just in the controllers yeah right? if like you were going to point at it click it. yeah point that could click. be a good answer yeah yeah i didn't even know that that was an option yeah. in some of the yeah, menus it'd be great if they had that option agree like, why not uh yeah pay attention devs right <laughs> come on now i mean it exists on playstation 5 you could add it in your games yeah why not? I did switch like I was yeah I'm intimidated with a controller with the Baldur's Gate because I was playing it for a second with it just to see how the camera worked yeah and you can hide the HUD in that game which was nice because I was thinking I was like could we do this as a cinematic series maybe yeah. maybe not I don't think so but um, with the controller it is very much like oh you're behind your character and I love the movement on the controller but I enjoy the combat with the mouse and keyboard okay so it might be one of those games where it's just it's it's the a mix back. for me it's like right. yeah I'm gonna flop back and forth like yeah, oh, I, I'll do that sometimes, and I just and and that sometimes that's the only way I feel comfortable. Even, especially in like GTA, like I cannot drive. I could drive with a uh, mouse and keyboard, but I much prefer a controller. That's the only thing I prefer the controller for is driving. Right, but then running around shooting, you want yes, because I can't. Keyboard. Yeah, because I can't shoot with a controller. I, I feel I feel you there. It just is. Can't. Yeah, it's much easier to aim with the old mouse. I'm already missing. I might as well be reasonably close when I miss. Yeah, I, I just rely on that auto lock. Crap that, that's true. The auto lock Which, does work pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Thank you to our sponsor, Dave. And Dave is a banking app that's leveling up the financial playing field. Dave would have been great back when I was in my 20s when I couldn't come close to balancing my checkbook and I did way too much estimation. And unfortunately, I was no stranger to overdraft fees and the waste of money would drive me crazy. And there was also plenty of times that I just ran into huge bills that were unexpected. From years ago, I remember basic care veterinary bills for my first dog that would blow my budget for two months. But now Dave's here to help. Because when you download Dave, you get up to $500 in five minutes or less with no credit check and no late fees. It's part of Dave's extra cash account that will advance the money you need with no interest and then you settle up later. I like this statistic. Dave, since 2017, has helped members avoid over $2.5 billion in overdraft fees. So download Dave today at dave.com slash Neebscast. That's dave.com slash Neebscast. And you get up to $500 in five minutes or less. No credit check. No late fees. Download the Dave app now and go to dave.com slash Neebscast. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Eligibility criteria and instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve, member FDIC. That's dave.com slash Neebscast. What's going on with this Red Dead stuff? Did something just launch with it or something? Uh, like they launched re Red, they relaunched Red Dead 1 on the PS4 and the Switch. Okay. That's it. Okay. Some people are mad about it. Yeah. Um, there's some anger because it's 50 bucks. And I think you can get like old Red Dead on like the Xbox Series B25S or whatever the fuck they named that console. Like you can buy that. You can buy the same damn game for like 10 bucks at a GameStop and bring it home, pop it in your Xbox, and it will upscale it to 4K. Looks great. Oh. And then so now they're like, well, what, you know, they put it on PS4. Well, you can also play on PS5. 
and they put it on Switch, but the price point of $50 pissed a lot of people off because it's like there's not an online component, I don't think, and then it's just an old game. So it's that, you know, oh, you're putting an old game on here and you're yeah. charging me $50. So you heard it here, folks. Rockstar is uh, going to be struggling. They're not making any money. <laughs> right. Uh, they're, they're probably still, going out of business. They're still printing money, man. <laughs> Good <laughs> God, with the fucking GTA, the amount of people that play that, still insane. Yeah, it what is an accomplishment. insane. It, it does. Oh, yeah. Well, that's another thing. Um, they bought that role playing company. Oh, the. Or they, they brought them in. The made Wizards them, of the. I don't know. I don't Not know. That. I forgot what the company was named. But 5M? 5M. That's it. Five. So I guess 5M, they, they created like servers for role playing oh, in that, GTA. Oh, that's what you're talking and about. Red Duh, we're, yeah. We're on that kind Rockstar of role actually per, like bought them and they're just pulling them into Rockstar games, which could either be a good or a bad thing. Potentially bad where Rockstar is just like, okay, shut that shit down. Yeah. So no one plays this anymore and they got to spend shark cards. I don't see that happening. Yeah, potentially a good thing of like, okay, this is obviously very successful on PC. People like this. Let's develop this proper. I have watched, stopped and watched many um, of those or seen like you, like a... Uh, many of what? Uh, of role role playing. playing within GTA, like these uh, yeah, servers that are set yeah. up like, um, you know, a great example is um, people being cops and like pulling over people for parking violation or like whatever like yeah, just speeding. different yeah, violations speeding, yeah. yeah all that like um but people being everything you know um and what, what so it, it they're just is there anything in. yeah they're role-playing and so they're being really serious so you yeah. tell me that you're watching a cop and a cop's gonna say license and registration the whole thing. please yeah all of it. and they'll right, take them the to jail thing, if they you know what if I mean? they they'll, if yeah. they get cuff them and bring them in yeah. the whole all thing. this is done in like the gta world yeah and yeah. you can actually cuff people is because they're modded yeah. are these things mm -hmm. that you can actually cuff them and bring them to jail it'll be another real minute. person they're taking in you know what i mean yeah yeah it's loaded with a bunch of role-playing people and that, i didn't know that you can uh that you could take somebody to jail and, and actually go in there. So this is all a severely modded servers. It's not just, yeah. I, I didn't know that it was like that. Yeah. yeah. No, it's insane what they do. And yeah, I've, I've just watched it. I tried to sign up for a Red Dead role play server. I was like, man, I, I think role playing in Red Dead would be fun. Vertigo made some really fun videos yeah, on yeah, role yeah. playing in Red Dead. Uh, and then I go to sign up for it. It's like, okay, you got to get in our Discord. It's like, all right, yeah, I'm in Discord. It's like, all right, we're going to send you a form. I'm like a form? It's like a three-page document. They want to know you. They want to know your character, your character's background, what you intend to do. I was like, okay, don't have time for this. You're not doing that? <laughs> yeah. Not doing this. But I can see the appeal. But, yeah, it's like for people that want that, you want to be able to hop in a server. It's like, okay, I'm going to play this character, and like you have to play that If you break the fourth wall, that's like an immediately kick out of the server. Yeah. It's like, no, you're role-playing. Then you got to take this seriously. That's so, why I couldn't take it seriously. It's ridiculous. Well, couldn't you... Well, if you're going to take... I get taking the character seriously and i get okay somebody wants to be a cop and they're a straight laced cop what about me wanting to be a cop that has a, i have a dark side i'm a cop but I, but my personality is i like i like to break the rules I probably like depends on it. who's in charge yeah you could do it huh you, probably depends on who's in charge of like the sir or like whatever i mean they might not be down for i don't know man you you should be able to do it or, yeah, or we're or, speculating or, yeah, we yeah, yeah yeah i mean i'm just you know i mean that's a part of the i guess your character but, okay. I remember watching like uh, some of them, and I wonder how many um, active or retired policemen do the cop thing because, like, or it's just um, people that have studied up on all the the numbers, the codes. Oh, yeah. you know, some like, of them are dead on. Like every bit of they just know every you know cop. Oh, you know the yeah. numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I, for, I forget what they're called, but no, yeah, uh, like we got a ten ninety five going over here, oh nine ninety five, seven oh nine. Like what the kind fuck? Kind of fascinating, man. The dedication. We, yeah. we used to have those uh, when I worked at the news station. We had, you know, the scanner. Yeah. <laughs> they had all the numbers posted up there, so if you caught on the scanner, the police were saying, "Yeah, hey, we got a one twenty nine over here." Like, like hey, what's one twenty nine? Oh, someone farted. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. That's that, interesting. That's, yeah. that's nothing. That's not a news story. Yeah, my uncle and his son. And they weren't, they wasn't really an uncle, just front of the family, but they were fascinated with, like, I guess, come to find out his son was too, fire trucks. 
you know, and firemen and like the whole like whole fireman life or whatever. So like I right. can they see know like they could people, have been firemen. Did they, know? Uh, they could have been, but they I guess they weren't good enough. You <laughs> know, you could role play as a fireman. In right. Yeah, in yeah, these go, games, like, it's it's yeah. one of those things where you can, you know, those, yeah. Like if you want to be a woman or a man, if you're not a man, you, you role play as anything you, you want. Play as yeah, anything. That's, like, right. yeah, good that's the fun in it. I mean, that's why Baldur Gates is so successful. At its core, it is a role playing game. It's like, oh, yeah, it's, I'm going to be this character and. I can ru- you can run through this game this way as this character, and the game reacts that way. Or you can choose a whole different character, run through the game, and the game reacts a whole different way mm-hmm. based on your actions and character and blah, blah, blah. People love that shit. All right, I'm going to yeah. get it. My ca- my character would be very, very impatient. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just <laughs> yeah. straight rude. to be. Yeah, rudely yeah, you impatient. could be. You could just be an asshole the entire game. Yeah, it's kind of fun. And then how do people like know that you're not... Uh, you know, like, well, you'd be playing with us in Baldur's Gate. You talking about GTA I'm now? Talking about GTA. Yeah, so, yeah Man, Baldur's it's a good Gate. question. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. Hmm. Role playing stuff. It is. It yeah. does sound fun. So, but now that you know, that makes you wonder, like, what are they going to implement that? It'd be crazy if they did it in GTA Five, just because it's so damn old. I feel like Rockstar's efforts have got to be being pushed into GTA Six. You'd at this think point. if they're making this purchase, they're thinking ahead that much yeah. more. Yeah. With that setup, damn. Role play servers and like official. Yeah. GTA 6 with the Rockstar editor. Ooh. Like, if you want to be a, fat, a short Ooh. order cook, <laughs> they've got that in place. Man, I hope. Man, if, if I we hope. can't get viral then, I mean, because GTA just needs a lot more views. They're so good. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I, I hope so much that they have the Rockstar editor in 6. They didn't have it in Red Dead. They never put it in there. Yeah, they sure never did. Yeah. They? Maybe, they just, just, maybe they're like, screw it. It was just way too much work, and they're just that's it. Yeah. It is something that probably they wanted to implement in GTA Five, but never really got any traction from it. It's like, okay, do people really need these tools? I mean, some people, like, there might be a couple of YouTubers like us that are fucking crazy that yeah. take those tools and do something with them, but the majority of their players probably They're aren't not even going to touch them. that shit. Nope. Yeah. So, when, you know, from a dev standpoint, I can absolutely see you looking at it and going like, that's not worth spending our time on. Mm-hmm. But Man. it sucks because yeah, I want I want it all. I want all of it. In six role playing or not, how cool would it be if like um, if you bought like uh, where a little restaurant could be, but then you can design your own logo for the you know the restaurant, oh the God. old sign, and like they'd have the they'd have inside. to do so much moderation unless they so gave much. you yeah unless they gave you like their own dev tools yeah to do that right like because you know every every um gta like they just always up the bar hugely Mm -hmm. in the realism uh realm and just how fucking like ah it's insane yeah it's rockstar yeah Uh, rockstar don't don't hold back they don't play around like i'm expecting gta online to be or gta 6 online or whatever gta online 2 what are they gonna call it i don't know but i'm expect that to be like kind of grindy and shitty just because that's my experience with GTA yeah. 5 and Red Dead. Yeah. But i'm expecting that single player to be fucking awesome. You would imagine. Yeah. But at least that world will be fun to run online like you know when we play it'll be fun to run around in with your friends. You know, aren't they saying it's just going to be another couple of years? Well, i mean, Rockstar did have a, a shareholder report come out and they're saying by, you know, hopefully what they're saying is like we're going to have a good uh, Q4 2024. We don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. Q4 2024. They do yes. like the end of the gotcha. year drops with yeah. their games. Right. So maybe a year and a couple of months. Yeah. Gotcha. So, but there's, I no, can there's see that. not a trailer. The only the only news we have about the game are the leaks that came out. So we know it's Vice City, and yeah. we know there's two playable characters. And Vice City was the Miami. Yeah. Type yeah. They're thing. doing they're doing Florida. From the from the leaks and all the screenshots, it's like okay, it's Vice, it's Miami, and kind of the surrounding Florida area. I mean, in the eighties? No, I think it's modern. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, yeah, they're going modern. You gotta can't have all the. You tech. can't sell shark cards and buy cars in the eighties. No, yeah, no, no, very no. true. You got to buy electric cars, and that shit cost Understood. two million dollars. You got to rob a casino thirty times to make the money. Right, <laughs> and go charge it. Oh boy, it's gonna be good times. It's gonna be great times, man. I'm like, yeah, I'm looking for. I just, I love exploring their worlds because they just put so much detail in their worlds. Yeah, and I can't wait to hear what their their NPCs say in this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, because they had some really fun lines in that last one. You know, oh, they're yeah, up yeah. and up. Usually, I their mean, writing gonna... is pretty solid. Now they've yeah. lo- they've lost some veterans of the franchise, so I'm curious to see how that affects the game. But hopefully, 
they still got a lot of people there that really give a shit about the project and want to make it as good as it can be. I'm not worried about them at all. I'm not. No. They got more money than God, so. Yeah, there's that. Yeah. Shit. Shoot. Shit. Shit. Shit, 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 girl. Shoot. Come on now. (laughs) You guys is great. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Listen, you have a great week, and make sure that you uh, try a new sandwich. And tell them Simon sent you.